Okay, so quickly, let's look at five deadly electrical wiring mistakes that could actually set your house on fire. And you know, most people don't even realize they are making these mistakes until it is too late. Stay till the end to see the most dangerous mistake of all. Well, if you are new to my channel, I recommend that you subscribe for more videos like this. And at the end of watching this video, if you like this content, Please don't forget to hit on the like and share with all your friends. All right, so quickly, let's move to deadly mistake number one. Overloading electrical circuits. Okay, simple. If you connect or you plug too many devices on one circuit, for example, into a socket outlet, this can cause overheating, which can result in fire. Typical example, you have a wiring that is connected to a 13 amp socket outlet. Then on this 13 amp socket outlet, you have connected an extension board. So if the socket outlet is rated 13 amps, it means it can carry only up to a maximum of 13 amps current. So if you are using an extension board that now has several sockets, like five, six other sockets, and then you have engaged all these sockets on the extension board, you may be adding too much load to the socket on the wall. And if the current that is being pulled from the extension board is more than the current that the outlet is designed to carry, heat will be generated and this can cause fire. Another example, you are using an extension cord that can carry a maximum of 10 amps load. Now, if the gadgets or the appliances you are connecting to that extension cord requires an amount of current that is higher than the rating of the extension cord, the extension cord is going to heat up and then start melting and this can also cause fire. Let's move to number two. Deadly mistake number two. Loose electrical connections. Loose connections create high resistance at the connecting point and this high resistance will cause heat and this heat over time can cause electrical fire and so make sure that all the time all your electrical connections are properly done make sure that when you are terminating your electrical cables into appliances or into accessories the connections are properly done use appropriate tools to tighten your terminals very well deadly mistake number three using the wrong wire size using the wrong wire size for a particular load can cause the cable to overheat and then when the cable overheats the insulation around the cable melts and this can create serious short circuits in the wiring that can cause electrical fire always make sure that you match the wire size to the load capacity i have videos on how to select the correct wire size for a particular load and other important videos that can help you to understand how to properly go about these points I'm raising for safety. Deadly mistake number four, poor earthing or grounding. Without proper earthing or proper grounding of your electrical wiring, an electrical fault can actually turn your home into a death trap. Yes. And you know, surprisingly enough, there are people who seem not to understand the purpose of earthing. Well, if you want to know more about grounding or earthing, I have shared a video under the description of this video. The title is Earth Faults. I also have videos on grounding and then earthing systems. You can watch those videos on my channel to get a clearer understanding of earthing and its purpose in an electrical wiring. Now, deadly mistake number five. Very, very important. And this has killed a lot of people already don't be the next person to die of this mistake the deadly mistake number five is do it yourself doing electrical things yourself without proper electrical knowledge is very deadly is either you know what you are doing or you call a professional that is the best way to go about electrical things you don't guess because one small mistake can burn your house down and even kill you yourself so if you are not sure the best thing to do is to call a professional all right so let's go over again together number one do not overload your electrical circuit number two make sure your electrical connections are tight and not loose 
after wiring or after your connections make sure you double check use the correct tools the correct screwdrivers to do the tightening very well number three use the right wire size number four do proper earthing some of my videos can guide you to understand what earthing means and what it does and then number five if you don't know what to do don't guess call a professional well so if you have learned something from watching this video hit the like and share this video with your friends it might just save someone's life thank you very much for watching please subscribe and stay connected